What's going on guys happy saturday hope you guys had an are having an amazing saturday we are back here for the the i guess the reviews we're doing two sneakers today we're doing the ama manier i pretty much have them over here so as you guys can see we do happen to have both of them in the building we did hit on ama manier i know this drop did happen pretty much about a week and a half ago or about two weeks ago but still we got them in the building and um, it's it kind of took a it took a while for me to actually receive them mainly because you guys know I'm on my year sometimes it takes a while to ship, and um, I got the I got the black bear a lot sooner, and I wanted to review both at the same time. I didn't want to kind of split them up and do separate reviews. I'd rather just you know uh, kill two birds with one stone. Who we got in the building? What's going on? We got uh, dark, dark men on the building. Hi, what's good? How are you? What's going on? We got Timmy up for real life. What is good? We got Mr. Old School. Let's go. KG in the building. What up, y'all? What is up? Shout out to everybody in the freaking building. How's everybody? Hope you guys are having an amazing day. I'm ex really excited for uh, these reviews alongside, you know, doing the giveaway as well. So anybody that, that was on my live yesterday that got to get some entries, you know, best of luck to you guys. I'm really excited to be doing that. We're most likely going to be doing the giveaway shortly after the review. So around, I don't know, like 7.30, any, anytime from 7.30 to 7.40 is most likely when we're going to be doing the spin to wheel raffle for that. So I just want to let you guys know that, but I'm excited for that. I hope you guys are too. Um, you know, we just been running around over here. We're always busy to some extent, um, but we, uh, you know, we try to keep our, our heads screwed on to some, to, to at, at any capacity, that's for sure. We got gun in the building as well. Yeah, excited to be here. Excited to review these for sure. And I'm sure you guys have already probably seen some videos and whatnot, but you know what? It's our turn to give our take on what what our thoughts are on these. Now, will I be keeping both? I think it really depends on my overall thoughts. I have seen the black, uh, the black uh, I'm on my year 12 in person already. So this unboxing, you know, I mean, this is literally, it's it's like I'm seeing, I'm going to be seeing this for the first time right now, especially the, the white pair. We're going to be going over all the, all the stuff, you know, quality, quality, quality concerns, if there are quality concerns and in my initial thoughts. But um, my plan so far is to keep one of them. I just don't know which one or we're going to rock one and then we're going to we're going to keep one for the collection. I mean, it is nice to have both of them. I'm not going to lie. Um, yo, we got HHSP crew. <laughs> he's in uh, he's in Cali right now. What's going on, man? I hope Cali is treating you well, man. What's going on? What's up? Christian Chuke, yo, your head hurts so bad. Why does your head hurt so bad? It's, what, what's going on, Christian? Um, everybody here, what's going on? Shout out to all the seven in the building. Guys, if you could just kindly smash that like button, it definitely helps the channel. Uh, but yeah, wow, we got we got quite we got quite the uh, quite the caboodle here. What's going on? Hope you guys are again having an amazing Saturday. So in today's video, I know I know this is released already, but still, I feel like it's. It's my time. It's my time to review these and my, my, my time to give my initial thoughts on these specific ones, okay? Now, it's literally dawning on me that the black pair also did happen to have a white bottom as well. 
and you guys know it white typically gets dirty pretty quick so you know you guys definitely want to protect that to, to some extent i don't know if anybody does you know wear any of those you know those grip drip uh, protectors i feel like for me I'm not 100% sold on it yet, but I would put it on a very hype pair. I'm saying if your pair is like anywhere over the 750 mark, then you kind of want to protect it a little bit more. That's just my honest opinion on it. Um, I think anything lower than that. And I know there are certain certain content creators out there that just rock them stock and that's fine too. I just feel like, let's say uh, for like a Travis Scott, for example, I would probably put some kind of protection on the bottom to some extent. But again, don't let me tell you what to do with your sneakers. Heck, if you want to wear crease protectors, if you want to put grip trip on it, if you want to like, I don't know, spray it with special stuff to protect it from the rain, don't let me tell you exactly what to do with your sneakers. It's just like for me, I think it's like, depending on the price tag of that sneaker, then, then, then we would definitely, uh, we definitely uh, would put, put, put something to some extent. Uh, we got, uh, ew, kicks the black uh, Ama 12s were so bashed before the release. But no one complaining once they saw how great they are in hand. Yeah, and, and, and this, this is why we, we do these reviews, and this is why we talk about it. E even if the dust has kind of settled a little bit with, okay, what are these doing on the aftermarket? It's like when I saw them in hand over at Nike, because it was definitely a return. I, see, I think there were two black pairs that have already been returned. Because this is a pretty hefty price tag. For two for two twenty five. to me... This is, you know, it's it's not your regular two hundred dollars. You know, it's not one hundred eighty bucks. This is two hundred twenty-five dollars we're talking about. So this is like for serious collectors. This is like serious sneakerheads. Feel like your average person is not going to be dropping anything even over one hundred fifty dollars for a pair of sneakers. Like let's just, you know, if you take yourself out of the equation, like if you weren't like really into sneakers. You're probably gonna look at a $225 price tag and you're like, ah, there's a whole bunch of other stuff I could put my money towards, right? So we we get it, you know what I mean? And this is this is why we wanna really look into like the quality, you know, what, what are the main differences between the black pair versus the white pair and really have that conversation. Uh, yeah, no, it's I think it's important to, 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 to talk about it. Um, I, I was very impressed with the black pair that I saw, especially if some people said, oh, it comes a little ashy depending on your pair and what, what have you. Um, I mean, look, these, these are, they're meant to be worn. I think if there's something that I'm, I'm, I'm most likely going to kind of um, be a little like baby out of these two, it's going to be the white bear because of the fact that they were a little bit more limited. So I just want to let you guys know, uh, how did I acquire these? So the black bear, we pretty much, uh, we, we hit on the actual release itself, literally at the 10 minute mark. Um, I mean, I probably hit on the third, uh, on the, th on the three minute mark, but it's sold out at least in my size in a 9.5, that's 11 women's. Um, all the larger sizes sold out pretty pretty quickly, and you know that's that's normal, especially with the fact that this is an Amma Manier collaboration. Uh, why did those larger pairs sell out? Well, because you think about it, um, there are collectors who want to collect the entire set, and if they miss out on the black pair or the white pair, they're they're just gonna pay that extra dollar. You know what I mean? They they will. I would even do that if let's say I missed out on the white pair, and I was just like, you know what? I really want this in, in my collection. So yeah. Um, uh no i was trying to understand exactly what happened with with, with christian Ho hope you're all well man hope you're all well oh just a migraine hey drink some water man you know i mean i don't know it's been the, the weather's been a little interesting that's that's for sure but you know we we try to stay hydrated to any extent that's for sure okay um but yeah uh shout out to 11 in the building appreciate all you guys so we're going to get to the review momentarily you know i just i, I just wanted to you know l acknowledge everybody in the building so we're going to go i guess in order we're going to start off with the black bear Inspect it a little bit. Um, very, it's pretty much the same boxing for for them. I do like the fact that they, 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 these boxes do come with that, that plastic insert. It just kind of adds to the quality. It adds to yeah, it adds to the unboxing, you know, because a lot of what you guys may not realize it, what we're paying for is not just the sneakers. We're paying for the unboxing. That experience is also something that we're actually dropping this two hundred twenty five or two fifty, depending on how 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 you acquire these. All right. Um, but when I did see these in hand. Over at Nike, I was like very impressed, especially with this this the, this gunmetal. And then I think one of my favorite uh, areas of the sneaker is this as well. This really nice like shiny plate over here. It's it's pretty. It's really pretty. Um, so yeah. So I mean, as you guys know, they did they did do a drop, uh, and a lot of people do favor this white pair obviously more than the black pair. But you know, I don't know. For me, I think at the end of this review, I'll, I'll have a clear understanding of which one I'm, I'll be leaning towards. But for me, right now, looking at them, I probably would wear this uh, and then, I don't know, kind of keep this in, in, in the collection for wearing for more like special occasions. Because this is a leather, right? Leather top. This is more like a new buck, all right? So, so yeah. 
So with that being said, uh, you still need the black bear. Gotcha. Hey, Dial, what's going on? I uh, appreciate you you jumping on over here, and all your all your comments on 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 the on the Tiffany's. Yeah, we're I guess we're we're going to be keeping the <laughs> we're going to be keeping the Tiffany's. That's for sure. Just just because it's like. It's not often. Oh well, I do get some pretty good dubs on 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 the sneakers app, but it's like I tried every other contest, and then we finally hit on we actually hit on sneakers. So it's like you know what? I kind of want to when I do my review uh, of my top ten sneakers that I acquired this year at the end of this year, that's going to be one of them. So I kind of have to keep it. <laughs> yeah, I'm just trying to justify justify it because because I would not spend a thousand dollars for the Tiffany's. There's no way. So if we didn't hit, we would just move on. That's what we would do. But yeah, appreciate you jumping in over here. Appreciate all the support. Um, yeah, so guys, with, with, without any further ado, let's go ahead and let's jump into into the review of the Amamanier 12s. Okay, so pretty much we got them both over here. Okay, we did hit. Okay, we did hit the white pair um, at through Amamanier on their contest, so we didn't actually have to go to battle <laughs> up against all y'all, which was great because I got to sleep in that day. And then the other one is obviously the black pair. So as you guys do know, this is a women's exclusive Amamanier. But a lot of men definitely wanted this. So they ended up, uh, you know, I mean, so you just have to do this size conversion. So uh, m uh, women's size 11 is a 9.5. That's pretty much half a size. Uh, what is it? 1.5 below. All right. So pretty much have the black hair uh, right up here. And it reads uh, black uh, and then black slash burgundy or dash burgundy crush. So just so you see that all right over there. So I'll make sure that's clear. So straight. So both both these pairs straight from Amamanier. So shout out to Amamanier for, well, the dub and then, you know, going to battle on the first one. But the the, the blacks seem to have been like um, easier to acquire. So it does come with this plastic insert. Let's just take that out. I just want to show you what it looks like. You know, kind of does. I mean, I'm really trying to think like what started the whole uh, insert. Was it like Travis Scott? Didn't Travis Scott start like a lot of his releases start with this insert, and then that's what kind of got other collaborations. At least I'm just trying to I'm kind of I'm trying to jog my memory here. But you guys let me know. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Okay, it's got a little bit of like fancy pantsy, you know what I mean? And then you pretty much have your regular your regular box over here. Okay, so over here, I'm really glad my box did come intact for sure. Uh, with the jump man right over there uh, And then you know, I'm um, in here and Jordan over there and then it says quality inspired by the greatest player ever You guys know it Michael Jordan. All right, so here here it is and I like this is kind of just reminds me It kind of reminds me of like an old like an old-school type of like shoebox to some extent I just really do like that. Let's open it up and over here You do happen to have like I really like this because you from afar you do you do see uh, Jordan and then at the closer you get to it It looks like just a bunch of dots. It's kind of like pixelated in a way so you got Jordan just kind of recovering a little bit over there, his hands on his knees, and then the Amamanier um, AE logo. Pretty much Amamanier um, tissue paper over here, and then let's go ahead and let's box these. These, these pretty, pretty sneakers. Okay, so this is it. Wow. Bang. Okay, you ha do happen, I mean, the first thing I see is that huge chocolate bar. I keep calling it a chocolate bar over here. You pretty much have this. Now, I do not recommend wearing this with a sneaker, or you can maybe use it as a bag, a bag tag or something. It's really just... It's really just to like let you guys know it's official. You got you got the yeah, Amal here, Jordan 12 over here. So this is them, okay. Now from what I've seen and what I've been hearing is the quality on this suede is a little is 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 not as good as the white one, but you know, my honest opinion of it, it's not bad. You do happen to have that that suede on it. So there you go. Um yeah, it's not it's not bad. It's it, it's it's uh it's I mean it's your regular type of suede. Nothing too fancy over here, but um I mean overall overall my first impression just looking at it, I really do like I really do like that that nubuck that nubuck leather on the back. Okay, it's one of those things you really need to see in person because it's like when you touch it, it does kind of change color in a way. So it's 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 uh yeah these these are solid these are solid and I can definitely see like a lot more people this is just going to be more i guess wearable in terms of the types of fits that you put together with it you do happen to have jump man that little plate over there shiny so it's kind of like um it kind of has a little bit of a, a gunmetal look to it to, to some extent uh mr old school says sheesh and then we got nitro in the building what's going on um 
Dial says the sleeve is uh, the sleeve is nice. They should have done that with Tiffany. Yeah, yeah. No, I mean I do like the Tiffany box though. The the just how it's like the the, the, the entire thing's Tiffany blue. But it would have been nice if they did do some kind of sleeve. Christian says that colorway is all right. The white is better. Yeah. Hey, I I I will let you know if I agree with you on that. I need to I need to I need to bust the, the the white ones out. Okay. And then quality inspired by the greatest player in the, uh, in the world. Uh, or sorry. Well, yes, in the in, in the world and ever <laughs> over there. So. Quality inspired by the greatest player ever. Obviously, Michael Jordan, Jumpman. And then you got that 23 around the back as well. Bottom of the sneaker, you pretty much happen to have, you know, those two, those two white, um, I guess it's kind of like a traction pod in a way, okay? So, a traction pod. Uh, and then we do also happen to have, you know, that car over here is the carbon fiber shank plate, okay? So, it's interesting. This kind of does kind of look a little bit reptilian in a way, doesn't it? Kind of look a little bit like a reptile in a way. Uh, but that's typically how it looks on, uh, you know, your Jordan 12s. Okay, so super, super, super clean. Now this little plate on the on the side over here. Okay, on the medial side of the sneaker, it also is over there as well. So you do happen to have it. There's just no logo on it. Well, at the end of the day, nobody's really going to see that because it's kind of like on the inside of it's on the it's on the medial or inside uh, portion of the sneaker. People are only going to see it for for what it is like that. Okay. Now one of the things I'm not the biggest fan of is going to be this. Okay. This happened to have your Amma Manier over here. And it is, um, it feels like metal. Is it metal? Yeah, it is metal. It is, it's, it, it, it kind of looks plasticky in a way. That, that, um, so it's a metal uh, Amma Manier A. I kind of wish they stitched this in. Like, that, that's the, that's one of the things that I'm not a fan of on this specific sneaker. So Amma Manier on one side, and then on the other one, you do happen to have Jordan. Uh, you do happen to have Jumpman on there, okay? And it is, it is a little piece of metal. This is a little piece of metal, okay? And I'm just really hoping that that doesn't fall out. You know what I mean? Like that would be a little devastating if that did fall out. No, it's it's in there pretty well. I just don't like the fact that it's kind of like you have like, it's kind of protruding a little bit, you know what I mean? But it's fine. It's not like it's gonna be poking your foot or anything like that. Uh, uh, let me double check. Okay, I'm just checking the chat. Sheesh, we got sub Yami on the building. What's going on? And you have that baby jump man over here as well. It looks really funny over here. Just, just such a weird, weird point, point of sneakers. So when you're walking around, you're gonna see like this little point, this little point of white. Um, but that's how you know. That's how you know. All right. Solid. So these are super clean. And then another, another really neat feature as well on the sneakers that quilted sock liner as well. You guys know it. Amon Manier is known for their quilted sock liner. These are really nice. It kind of does feel like satin in a way. Um, so quilted, I believe it is satin sock liner. Okay. And then. We do happen to have Dream Soul. It's a Dream Soul insole. I won't necessarily pull it out, you know? Not that I'm not trying to work hard over here, but you know, you guys kind of get the picture. If you look really close, it's it's brown. It's got the, the Amma Manier logos on it alongside Jumpman as well, okay? So these are super clean, um, very versatile. You can use this with a lot of different fits. I definitely see that. Now it doesn't come with any extra laces. The only extra thing you pretty much have is that chocolate bar, that, 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 that um, you know, that, that hang tag chocolate bar, which I do not recommend wearing. Again, do not wear this with a sneaker because honestly, it's going to be, it's going to be scratching the ground. If you, I know some people do rock their sneakers with hang tags. Now don't let me tell you what to do, but with this, please do not do that. It is literally going to be dragging on the floor if you do, if you do happen to do, do that. So these are super clean. Now, another thing I did want to uh, touch on as well is on the initial tongue itself, which is also, you know, it, it also does happen to have, um, you know, some leather on it. It does say, you can't really see it. It says two there, T-W-O. And then on the bottom, it says, there's, there should be a 23 over here. Yeah. So you see the three, there's also a two, I believe somewhere up there. So yeah, it's two. Oh no, it's two, th two spelled out and then number three. That's pretty much how it is. So, and then you do happen to have that reptilian over here as well that wraps around the sneaker. So overall, super solid. Now, I don't wanna give this a rating just yet, okay? But I, I am gonna be rating each sneaker. Um, they're most likely gonna uh, be different ratings because they are different quality. So that's, a, that's the black bear. I'm gonna just tuck that to the side over here. And now we're gonna move on to the white bear, okay? And then shortly after I review the white bear for all you 12 rocking with me over here, so we, we did do a shock drop raffle yesterday. So there's a couple people in the chat that got their entries in. We're gonna be doing that. We're gonna be doing that raffle shortly after this review, okay? So just uh, all you guys that got your entries, again, crossing fingers, uh, best of luck to all you guys. We're just gonna get, we're gonna, uh, we're gonna finish 
it off with the second sneaker over here. So pretty much same deal, you know, where you talked about the packaging. So we're kind of good over there. Let's go ahead and unbox these. And again, this is the first time I am ever seeing the white ones in person. I have not seen them in store. Well, they didn't even release on Nike. This is a this is an Alma Manier exclusive. This is probably the one that most people are excited about. This one probably, well, this is most likely gonna be the one I'm most excited about as well. Now, now when um, when you do unbox it, it does say pretty much the same thing. Got Jordan over there. Now these are a little bit more premium, so they do come similar to the Tiffany's, all wrapped up. Okay, the other pair was not was not double wrapped. Okay, so go ahead and unbox this. Wow, they're they really. So that's the review, guys. Not just kidding. Uh, so wow, it's 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 all wrapped up. And you do happen to have a slightly different chocolate bar oh it's a white chocolate bar Ooh, okay so you got a white chocolate bar over here now some people did have some concerns about quality issue okay and i'm already kind of seeing something just a little bit it's not not necessarily something that's going to bother me too much but they're worried about the the dye moving on to the white portion so you can kind of see already in the bottom over here I do happen to have a little bit of a speck from the burgundy but i'm sure that's nothing i can like just clean off if anything okay but wow overall first impressions these are clean, woo! And you can already see, like I just wanna kinda of compare this real quick before we dive into it. You can actually see the quality on this, that suede is kinda of like a regular suede. This is more of like a velvety carpet-like suede. So it's more, much more premium, okay? I was under the impression it would be the same. And the only main difference was gonna be the initial leather on this, but it's not, okay? So it's, it, it's looking like there is uh, a substantial difference between the suede on this and then this, I don't know, just more of like a, a carpety look, if anything. So super, super clean. Yeah, it does kind of feel like just, I don't know, not necessarily like a satin, just kind of like like a like a fancy carpet of anything. I, I, it's kind of weird to say that, a car the carpet on your sneakers, but yeah. Uh, so you do happen to have this really nice uh, tumbled leather. I'm not too sure what this little thing over here is. I think it might just be a little, uh, something I could probably clean off, if anything, some little dirt. But, but yeah, overall, uh, you got your tumbled leather over here, which pretty much wraps around majority of the body of this Jordan. Oh, that, that thing's just flop, flopping around over here. Again, do not do not wear that with your sneaker while you're walking around. Please, just please don't do it. Uh, and then you do happen to have, you know, your your gunmetal, your gunmetal, um, what is it again? Uh, your gunmetal eyelets. God, I always forget that word, eyelets, yeah. Uh, a lot of Nike Jordan sneakers uh, have dye issues. Yeah, a lot of people uh, didn't found until wearing the sneakers. Yeah, I think for me, that's one of the things I'm concerned about. Um, again, not that I would wear jeans with this. Like, uh, to me, that's not a fit. Um, but there have been situations where I have worn jeans and the dye transfer onto some white sneakers. So again, guys, just be cautious on the type of stuff you're wearing with this. Um, because, yeah, like we, we don't really know uh, what, what could happen, okay? But, um, but if you're saying it, it happens, it could potentially happen. Uh, Mo Beta Kick says, I love the black ones, but seeing the quality on the white pair, yeah, no, it's, 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 it's kind of like, I'm going to be real, it's kind of like night and day um, in, in terms of the quality of the suede. Like I didn't realize like how big of a difference it is, but it's important. And that's why I wanted to do this review of them together so I could really kind of compare like, okay, this is, this is much, 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 much higher quality. I'm surprised the prices are the same. For 225, they, I'm not saying they should have priced this higher for us, but I'm saying they should have priced the other one at least at 200 or 210, and then this at, 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 at 225. Or the heck, they should have just gave it, they should, they should have just priced them at 150 for us. You know what I mean? <laughs> uh, when people wear the hang tag on sneakers, it makes me so mad for some reason. Man, I, I understand. Yeah, I mean, hey, when, when I see the StockX tag or, you know, I don't know, the eBay tag and stuff like that. It does kind of just, like, I'm not I'm not going to go walk up to people and tell them, hey, you know, you 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 know, you, you guys are grown folks. You guys really shouldn't be. I think it's an insecurity issue, to be honest, for, for people to, to have to wear that to let people know, like, it's authentic. I paid, you know, I, I bought it from StockX. It's like, really? Well, StockX has sold fakes in the past, so how can you really assure us that that's authentic, right? What are you going to do? Walk up to them with a magnifying glass and like, hey, let me inspect those sneakers. I don't, I don't believe they're, <laughs> they're legit, right? Uh, we got R in the building. Yo, what's good? What's good? What's good? Um, oh, you got both. Watch out for the red pair. Well, oh, the dye. Yeah. No, so this is, yeah, from what I'm hearing, uh, there could potentially be a dye transfer from this to this. But, I mean, look, I I, I don't know when I'm going to be wearing this. So, like, I think you got you to gotta wear them to really be able to kind of give a, 
an even more solid review than just having it in hand. Um, I, I would like to get to that point in the channel where I'm able to like, hey, let's wear this for 30 days and I'll let you guys know, like, did the die transfer or what the deal is, you know? Sometimes it's, it's hard and that's also, it's also hard as a consumer, like buying, buying specific products online because you're not gonna know what it's gonna be like until you've used it for a week or a day or, you know, or what have you. Anyway, jumping back to the sneaker, okay? Because I, I definitely wanna, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna give this, I wanna give this, this sneaker some, some, some justice because so far I'm kinda leaning on this uh, versus the, the black pair. So you do happen to have that really nice velvety, kinda like, yeah, vel this really nice velvety suede in the front, much higher quality on this, okay? Uh, the stitching's prime, no issues on that. Very similar to the black pair, you do happen to have that brown uh, rep reptilian um, pattern that kinda wraps around. Uh, and then that that plate over there uh, right on top of the shank plate in the bottom as well okay so uh, the entirety of like the the midsole is pretty much the same exact thing as this it's really the the satin interior is white okay now the inside is also pretty much the same the same exact insole dream sole or dream cell dream cell sole is what it is okay and then uh, the ama manier is also that little that metal that metal plate on the other uh, sneaker, which is also, man, they really wrap these up, you know. I'm on here really trying to put me to work over here, huh? Shout out to the 15 in the building. All right, so, and then the other one, again, it's attention to the details, okay? So you do happen to have Jumpman over there in that plate, and then the Amma Manier logo, and then it says two, and then three. So there's only one number three. Well, there's two number threes, but on each sneaker, and then it's, it does, does happen to say two as well. T, W, O, and then Right over there is a three. Now I don't know why initially they did it that way because like the, the the laces are kind of covering it up. So these do come with waxed laces, waxed white laces, super clean. No extra laces on this. Now I probably wouldn't be switching out the laces. I would not do a lace swap on this. I mean, do a lace swap if you want, but again, you're most likely going to have to find, uh, you know, some some laces. I mean, if you want to add uh, wax laces to this, you're going to have to find something that like is very similar to this. Now I am seeing a couple quality, little, little quality issues as well over here. So you do happen to see a little bit of a, like some dye transfer over there. I think I can clean that off. Okay. But again, like I will let you guys know on my community page, if I am able to clean that off. And then I believe over here as well, just so you guys can see like, Oh, what exactly does it look like? So there's a couple really, I mean, look from afar, these are perfect, okay? But then if you look up close, then you really kind of start to see these like little minor things. Now, for a $220 sneaker, that should not happen. You should, we should have this perfect, okay? But sometimes these things happen, okay? Now, I'm not mad at, with my pair. Like, I'm, 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 I'm definitely gonna keep this part of the collection. This, this is honestly, out of everything that Amal Manier has released, this is probably in my top three of what Amal Manier has released. One of my favorites is, I think on the top of my list is the Jordan 1. I'm just a Jordan 1 fan. I love the Jordan 1 High. It's one of my favorites of the Alma Manier collection. Um, the 4s would be up there, but the quality on issues on the 4s just kind of did, just did, just did, I don't know, they just did as bad. You know, they, they did as wrong. I kind of feel like it could have been, like you really need to be selective on that specific pair. If you got a good one, hey, kudos to you. Mine had some uh, glue stains on it. And it's also why I didn't include it in my top 10 sneakers of last year. Now, so... Number one for me, uh, the Air Jordan 1 High. Number two is definitely going to be the Air Jordan 3 Amamanier, the first one that set them on fire, that really just, you know, this just brought Amamanier to the top. And then this would probably come in number three for me. That's I'm, I'm just going to kind of call it for my, my top three so far, okay? I know there's still the fives we're expecting later in the year, which I'm very excited about, okay? It would be nice to get both pairs also and review them the same way I'm doing it today. Uh, gray laces, yeah. No, pinchy, uh, pinchy. I hope I'm pronouncing that that right. Uh, yeah, what's going on? What's going on? So, so that that is that is. Um, I guess that concludes my review on this. So, um, let me rank them. Let me rank them right over now. Um, right here, right now, right here, right now, right here, right now. Okay. Um, I'm definitely gonna give the white bear a much higher rating than the black bear. I'm gonna give the black bear a sold eight out of ten. Okay. I'm gonna give these. A solid nine out of ten okay solid now if there wasn't some little blotches and little stuff like that I probably would give this a solid 10 out of 10 um, I mean the fact that this is making my top it's, it's making my top three on my mirrors this one 
hands down. Really, really fire, and I'm 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 very I'm very impressed. You know, I mean, other than those like little those little 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 minor you know, uh, you know blotches that I'm sure I could probably just clean off with some rejuvenator or something like that. So it's all good. It's all good. Okay. So that concludes my review. I hope you guys enjoyed it. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna get into the raffle. Just so, just hang tight. I know we're pretty much we're at the seven thirty mark. I know you guys. I don't want to keep you guys waiting too long. So I am really excited about dropping. You know, uh, you know, uh, using eraser. Yeah. No, you're right. I'll, I will. I will look into it. I think a little. Considering the fact that um, let me actually pull that pair again. Considering the fact it's ever ever so slightly on, like it's so small. You know. But you see it, you know, it's there. I'm sure I could just kind of clean it a little bit because it's on the leather part of the sneaker. I'm sure that would come right off, okay? So solid, solid pair of sneakers, solid nine out of 10, solid eight out of 10, okay? Now, before we go ahead and dive into the giveaway that I'm, I'm, I'm doing for for every, for the, the, the nine people there, there were nine, we had a total of nine entries. I just want to let you guys know that um, I want to go ahead and just check what these are doing on the aftermarket right now, okay? So if you guys are curious on like, hmm, should I pick them up? I didn't quite go for them. I'm not too sure. Let's go ahead and check, check them real quick. Brooklyn Foam's in the building. I have both, just don't like how my pair bleed. Hey man, um, I'm a little, I'm a slightly, I'm a little salty about it, but it, it's, it's fine. It's not as bad on my pair. Um, but I also haven't really worn them yet. So I don't know if through wear and tear, if they will continue to bleed, but so far, I'm sure I could just kind of like clean mine with like a Q-tip or what have you. Uh, what's up, Bacon? How you doing? What's good? What is goody? All right, so we're going to go ahead and dive back over here real quick. We're going to go ahead and just check what these are doing on the aftermarket, and then we will get to doing that giveaway, guys. I hope you guys are excited for, you know, the nine the nine people that we had yesterday that joined. So um, shout out to all of them that did get an entry. We did do a shock drop. We're, we pretty much, well, I'm, ho I'm hosting a shock drop giveaway for uh, the Jordan, for the, you know, for these, the reimagines in a size 12. All right, so we're gonna be we're gonna we're gonna be uh, we're gonna be mailing those out to one lucky winner out of the nine. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's check what these are doing on aftermarket because I just want to kind of give you my initial thoughts. Should you buy them now? Should you wait till Christmas? What should you do? You know, I probably wouldn't wait till Christmas for these. Okay, um, but let's go ahead and let's check. Obviously, larger sizes are. Oh my God, this 13.5 is trying to sell it for a thousand. Yeah, nobody's gonna drop a G on that for sure. Um, but depending on your size on these, I don't know. I mean, I'm not going to say these bricked on the aftermarket. I'm just going to say they, they kind of anything are kind of holding. They're kind of holding, obviously, in a much smaller sizes. I mean, heck, there's still some of them are still available on the Nike app, especially well, in, in, the, in the black in, in the in the black colorway, the white one, it was exclusive. So those flew, right? So if you are any of these sizes, they're still available on Nike. Let me know if you want me to drop this link in the chat. More than happy to do so. Um, but yeah, I mean, so the black pair, obviously, these are probably going to be doing a lot less than the white pair, but this is them, okay? So again, I wouldn't recommend buying from these sites, but, um, you know, do it at your own discretion, you know, because there are going to be a lot of fees and stuff like that. So you won't necessarily, let's say if I wanted this size 11 women's, which is my size, um, I would probably be paying close to retail, if anything, because of the fact that there's fees, there's authentication, all that other mumbo jumbo, right? So there's going to be all that other stuff that's going to be included in the price tag. So just to kind of give you an understanding, okay? So uh, the white bear, uh, what's the white bear doing? Uh, probably slightly better. Yeah, I'm not surprised. A little bit better, uh, especially in this unicorn size, the 12.5, 269. Now, you know, it's kind of like you're, you're make, if you are selling, um, if you are selling them, you probably make a little bit of lunch money of anything. So were these a decent hold? I really think that these are more for the personals. I'm not going to say collabs are dead. I just think we're in a weird time right now with the recession and the market and stuff like that. Trust me. You come back and you check these prices around December time, the black and the white one are going to be at a much higher price point. I think they're going to be a little over that 300 mark, maybe even 330. That's just my hunch. Obviously, the white pair doing much better. Okay, so that pretty much concludes my review. I just want to give you my honest opinion on them. Uh, white pair over the black, but if I'm going to wear one, most likely going to be wearing the black. I'll probably keep the white for a bit. You know what I mean? Uh, after after cleaning it up, but I I do see. Uh, yeah, definitely personals without a doubt. Yeah. Brooklyn, Brooklyn is right for sure, for sure, for sure. All right. So let me go ahead and just make sure 
I want to just play some music uh, while we get this, uh, while we, while, you know, while we jump into this this giveaway over here, because yeah, I, I told you guys we're gonna be doing that. We're gonna be doing that, that that giveaway for the nine lucky people that that sent over entries. So yesterday, for those, those that don't know, uh, I pretty much did a shock drop. Uh, like I said, I guess like a shock drop raffle on on my uh, you know on my live, you know. So so we pretty much had, uh, I, I pretty much let them know how to enter. And they had to be on the live, and they had to dr drop the hashtag uh, sneaker of the year. Now, whether it was the whether this is the sneaker of the year or not, I just wanted them to put the put the hashtag uh, down in in the chat, and that would pretty much give them, you know, uh, yeah, give them an entry. Okay, so that's pretty much what happened yesterday. I wanted to do a little bit of a different spin to the contest as opposed to dropping in my community page. I know if I put it in my community page, most people are like, oh, then they can go ahead and sign up. And then I'll, I'll have the contest open for a specific period of time. But this was strictly for, I guess, whoever was on the live. Uh, I believe the contest was open for about 20, 25 minutes. And then we closed it once the uh, contest ended. Okay, so let me go ahead and just play some music over here. Um, and, and yeah, I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm thankful for this community. Like, I love everybody that, that rocks with me and, you know, believes in this channel and, and you know, as much as I do. And, and yeah, I'm, I'm definitely excited to, 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 uh, to, 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 to give these away, to give these away. So let me go ahead and just make sure I got some music. Um, all righty. Oh yeah. All right, so this is where we're at. This is what we're doing tonight. Bang! All right, we're, it's raffle time, guys. We're going to be doing a spin the wheel contest this evening, okay? So we do happen to have nine people that entered yesterday. So I know if you guys are in right now, uh, you know, I'm just letting you guys know the contest is already closed, okay? It was already closed. We're just raffling it out tonight. I didn't want to do the raffle yesterday. I just kind of wanted to gather the entries in on who was on the live yesterday. And yes, I told you guys, it's March Madness. We're doing something exciting. So I am going to be giving away one of these. Pretty much have it. I have it over here. It's a size 11. Uh, it's a size 11 reimagined right over here. Bang. So we're going to be giving this away to one lucky person. Okay. I'm super excited to be doing this. Uh, this is out of my pocket. All right. So just letting you guys know, um, I'm really excited to, to be, you know, uh, I'm just thankful for the support. You know what I mean? Like this is, this is, uh, I don't know. I just love doing this, you know, at the end of the day, uh, let's go. Good luck, everybody. Um, you like what you like, what, uh, Brooklyn says you like what you're doing. Hey man, I, you know, I, I, I want to do things a little bit, a little bit different from time to time. You know what I mean? Like this is my fourth giveaway on the channel. Last year we did three sneaker giveaways and, uh, I believe Christian 2K, uh, he, he's, he won two of them. Like, I mean, how, how lucky is that dude? He won, he won two sneakers on the channel already since since like the inception. Since the ince inception, we pretty much re we, we revamped the channel early January 2022, and we we're like, all right, we're gonna focus on sneaker content. We're just gonna full send it, right? So here we are. You know, we're pretty much here. Uh, what is it? A year and three months later, and we're giving away. Uh, this is the fourth sneaker we're giving away on the channel, all right? So you guys might be wondering exactly who is a part of the, who is a part of this, all right? So this is this is the deal, all right? Whoever's gonna win this, I'm gonna do my best to ship it on Wednesday, latest Friday, maybe latest Saturday, but I will be shipping this to you free of charge. The sneaker is already paid for, so you don't have to worry about paying for the sneakers. It's all paid for. I'm giving this completely away, being shipped to you where, wherever the hell you, you are, okay? Um, I mean, I'm hoping you all are from the United States, but this is pretty much, um, yeah. So this is the raffle that we got going on over here. Okay. So, uh, these are all the people that did enter. Okay. We have about nine people. Okay. We got meow meow. We got Ryan the heel in the building. We got meow meow the heel. We got Den DZ, Snowbird Sneakers, Mr. Old School. We got Gunna, Real Gaming 94, Dark Metal YT, which I'm under the impression is YouTube. Uh, but let, let me know if, if I'm wrong on that. And then we got Christian 2K. Watch out for that guy. Watch out for that Christian 2K. Uh, and then uh, we got Manny Martins as well. So shout out to the nine who all got their entries. And again, this was just super random. I did it, I did it at the tail end of my live yesterday. You know what I mean? For everybody who's like legitimately there rocking with the channel. All right. So if you're not already uh, subscribe to the channel consider subscribing consider you know rocking to us from time to time i don't know when the next giveaway is going to be but i can tell you it will definitely be happening once we hit 2,000 subscribers which is literally very very soon we're already at like 1,550 it's going to happen sooner than we know it and we're going to be monetized sooner than we know it too um i'm in the moon you will need to uh, contact elon oh my god man 
That's hilarious. That's hilarious. All right, let's go. All right, guys. So um, we're just gonna do like you guys. Let me know. Uh, are we just gonna do like like one spin and done? Like, um, cause I think I think that's kind of how I think that's kind of how we have to do it. I just want to let you guys know that this is not jigged at all. Let me go ahead and just bring this up. Yeah, it's not. This is not jigged at all. Like literally, I'm gonna go ahead and just copy all these names. I'm gonna take them out. So there's nothing. I'm gonna drop them back in. Boom. Okay. So this is fresh. It's completely fresh. And I think we're just gonna do a one and done. That's it. Okay. Now drop some freaking, drop some clovers in the chat, okay? Now whether your whether your your name is here or not, drop some clovers in the chat or light light this chat up on fire, all right? Because we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna get this. You guys think this is gonna be the sneaker of the year? Do you honestly think that this is the sneaker of the year? Let me know in the chat. Let me know if you think this is the sneaker of the year. We're gonna be giving away a size 11. Now whether it's your size or not, who cares? You can always sell them. It's all good. I just want to help you guys. Get the heat, okay? I want to help you guys get the heat. So that's what we're doing over here. Um, I appreciate all you guys. Again, this is like, this community is awesome. This community is freaking awesome. And regardless of who who wins, again, like there's, there's no bias. This isn't rigged. We're just going to go ahead and send it. All right, so let me go ahead and just switch song real quick. Oh, yeah, let's go ahead and let's do, let's, let's do this one. All right, guys. Uh, good luck to all. All right, crossing fingers. Crossing fingers. I have no idea who he's gonna end up with, but sheesh! This one's a heater, and and I hit on two sides 11s. I picked the better elephant print, and that's the one that's gonna be sent to whoever wins, okay? They're definitely up there for sneaker of the year. Yeah, no, I'm definitely calling it for top five, okay? All right, ready? Who's ready for this? All right, let's go. This is it! Who's it? Oh! <laughs> Christian was so close. We got Dark Metal. Hey, Dark Metal, contact me. You just won yourself a pair of size 11 right over here. You got him. You got him. I'm gonna be shipping him to you. Wow, that was so close. We, I thought, I thought Christian 2K was gonna win again. <laughs> Yo, congrats, Dark Metal. Congrats to you. You pretty much just I'm gonna take him out of the box just so you can go ahead and take a quick peek out at, at, at your 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 dub. Your dub is right over here. Wild. We wildin'. We wildin'. Congrats. This is it. Beautiful. Beautiful. Shout out to all you guys rocking with us. Let me take that other pair out so you can have this seat. Yeah, this is clean. That's the other pair. So what are we talking? Are we, are we, are we calling it, huh? We calling it a sneaker of the year? I, 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 I think so too. I mean, is it, is it too early? Is it too early? I don't know, you guys let me know. Sheesh. Congrats, Dark Metal. Appreciate you, uh, appreciate you being a part of the channel. That's for sure. So, uh, so yeah, I will. So I will be contacting you. I'll be contacting you, and I will get your uh, contact information, and I'll have these shipped as soon as I can. Okay. So anytime from, anytime from Wednesday to you know Friday or Saturday. But I'm gonna try my best to get these out sooner than later. I just know I'm gonna have a busy week. Okay. I'm just letting you guys know. Uh, but yo, shout out, shout out, shout out. Yay, man. Like. Uh, thank me when they've arrived at your place safe and sound, okay? But I will definitely be getting them to you. So uh, feel free to contact me on my Instagram page. I'm going to be sharing my Instagram again uh, momentarily if you're not already following me on Instagram. But um, contact me. Let me know. I'm going to get these over to you. Again, everything's free of charge. Uh, so don't don't worry about it. We're, we're giving out of the goodness of our hearts because uh, I love this community. And uh, and it's just everything that we're building over here. We're, we're building a channel worth being a part of, number one. And then I just want to be able to have like good, solid information that I, I deliver to my audience and solid uh reviews because at the end of the day i used to i know what it's like to be on the other side watch like binge watching all this all these videos to like figure out like like i want to know what what this person thinks about these sneakers or should i buy this because it's like we're dropping a lot of money on sneakers so to be able to really know like is it worth getting how are the how's the quality concerns on this you know what i mean but but yeah, you'll be getting a good pair, man, for sure. I inspected them. Them, they got the they got the double thumbs up from me. That's for sure. So again, shout out to all you guys rocking with me and everybody that participated. Again, like you know, this community is freaking awesome. 
So yeah, uh, Dark Mantle, I'm definitely excited to be sending these over to you guys. Again, thanks for lighting up the chat and rocking with this guy over here. So uh, let me go ahead and just share my Instagram for anybody. Uh, well, it, anybody that's literally new watching me for the first time, consider subscribing. Like we literally just gave away gave away a pair of sneakers for free, just for people just showing up on the live and just commenting like hashtag sneaker of the year yesterday. So you know what I mean? Like anything can happen on the channel. You know, we try to keep things exciting. We want to be able to bring our personal brand to the sneaker community. That's what we're doing over here. You guys know it. At the end of the day, that's literally what 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 we do. Um, but let me go ahead and just share my uh instagram here so you so anybody that hasn't already followed me can go ahead and follow me and dark metal please uh reach out to me over here like this is my real instagram like it should look this way with the underscore over here um and and yeah and then let me know uh let me know all all, all, the, all that stuff all the details and i'll get these over to you uh this week that's for sure hey hey, hey christian you came so close i was literally like on stitches man <laughs> i was on stitches that was wild uh, I might give it to my brother because he gives you AirPods. Uh, all right, all right, all right. I, hey, I, I hope size 11 is his size, man. I mean, th these these are clean. This is a good pair, okay? Trust me. Uh, oh, he gifted you AirPods Pro for your birthday. Hey, that's awesome, man. Hey, what goes around comes around. What goes around comes around indeed. That is for sure. Got that key. Let's go. I love it. Um, uh, Manny Martin says, I want, I wore mine today and you love these. Gotcha. Sorry, I'm, I'm kind of catching up on a lot of the... Uh, a lot of the chat right here people dropping bottles and stuff man hey i hope you all had a great uh saint patty's day i don't know who, who in the chat participated in and whatnot but i hope you all did have uh i mean i'm having an amazing week so far you know what i mean we get to we get to we get to hang out and you know just you know just vibe here you know that that's like for me i i've been trying to remind myself not to not not to stay too focused on the content because it's it's easy to kind of get stressed on like we need to put on like the best live stream that we can and at the end of the day, it's like, I know a lot of people that come to the chat just like want to hang out. And that's really what it is. You know what I mean? It's supposed to, we're supposed to just vibe here. I just want to be able to give you guys valuable content in terms of like, hey, can you learn something new? Even take away one new thing that you've learned from me, like when when when, when we go live. Uh, now you need to get the elephant print cardigan. Oh my God, damn. Yeah, I saw you wear that. <laughs> that's wild, man. That's an interesting one for sure. I'm curious where you ended up getting that, that, that cardigan. Um, uh, Sub Miyamiya says, I still need those Dark Iris. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. We did review those. Yeah, that Dark Iris, indeed. Chucky Goat says, Ernest, still haven't went to Deluxe Atlas for the Forge. You got to. Like, guys, I, I just want to let you know. Um, well, the stream's not over yet, okay? The stream's not over yet because I did want to I did want to transition a little bit into into kind of like... Because because it's getting, it's getting crazy. It's getting real crazy for these fours, guys. It's getting like crazy. If you guys like didn't see Crush Skate Shop, I'm sure everybody in the chat saw Crush Skate Shop. Now we won't be touching on that too much, but I'm just want to let you guys know like it's it's getting pretty serious for these. Like like I think some <laughs> like I, I'm just like I was shocked to see that many people uh, going for these. Um and and re resale resale is is decent, but it's not astronomical, which is why some people already just pulled the trigger. They're like, screw it, I'm just gonna buy them because I don't want to have to wait. I don't want to have to line up. I don't want to have to anything. I don't want to have to rely on sneakers. We don't even know what stock numbers are going to be on sneakers. So if sneakers release 15,000 on the shock drop, or yo, what was it, exclusive access, what do we think they're actually going to drop? Some skate stores had 100 pairs. That sounds pretty decent. But for the, the, you know, the demand, which is up here, and then the supply, we don't really know what that supply is like, okay? So I think after... We find out what stock numbers are going to be on, on, uh, we will be going live obviously Tuesday. So, you know, feel free to swing on by if you want to see if we end up hitting, but, um, <laughs> I don't know how much more luck sneakers is going to give me this year. Like we, we hit on the wolf gray dunks. We hit on the Tiffany's. I'm like, I think, I think I've exhausted all my luck already on sneakers. I don't want to say that, but Hey, you, you like, I, I don't know the likelihood of me hitting this on sneakers, which is why we tried our best to sign up at a couple of shops. Okay. Crossing my fingers on Oxford street. I think that's going to be my best chance. But for this specifically, uh, we'll see. I mean, again, we just need one pair, you know, so we can review it on the channel for y'all, give you guys my, my honest opinion on this. But uh, th these are going to come and go. There's a lot of demand behind it. Um, I know Nice Kicks ended up doing a an interview with uh, Theodis Beasley, who, who skates for Baker Skateboards. I love that guy. He's amazing. He's such an amazing, talented skateboarder. And just like a good human being as well. You get a brand ambassador like Theodis Be Beasley on your, on your team roster, like like your your brand is is going to continue to maintain like like trust me because he's like he's just an overall good human being 
and he he is like he just really embodies what skateboarding is about you know what i mean like there are too many people who are like really good at skateboarding but then they fall off they fall off because they get in they get into the wrong the wrong stuff you know what i mean so it's so interesting to me to see like theodis beasley as a kid and then grow up into this brand ambassador and still maintain that you know and like you know part, it'd be sponsored by some of the best brands you know what I mean? it's just it's it's it's, you don't have to be the best skateboarder in the world, but he is a very talented skateboarder, but he's super well-rounded on everything. So shout out to, to Theotis, like amazing, amazing skateboarder overall, just because of, like the, his personality. And so he did an interview, you can check it out. I believe it's on Nice Kicks. He did an interview with them on these and I mean, just perfect combination. Skateboarding and you know, pretty much Nike SB like just, I don't know, match made in heaven, honestly. Like, we, I, I want to skate these. I, I, like, I'm really hoping we hit on them. It would be amazing to skate these for sure. So I know there's a lot of hype and demand. Best of luck to everybody. If you already hit on up here or bought, bought them, like, I, well, I, I don't know. I, I don't know if I'm going to congratulate you for paying a resale. <laughs> uh, if you hit on them, congrats, you know. Um, if you paid on, if you paid for them already, we're, we're, let's see what the price is doing the aftermarket. These, could, these are definitely going to maintain... I, they're probably gonna uh, they're probably gonna skyrocket uh, first day because you know a lot of people that impulsivity effect um, that Keith Adams always talks about the impulsivity effect where everybody just kind of goes for it you know and every I think believe prices go up by ten percent sometimes fifteen percent depending on 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 the pair of sneakers um, but uh, but yeah you're gonna get a W on the fours uh, Den DZ uh, you oh yeah these are these are freaking gas. Uh, sorry if I'm missing any, 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 any comments here. Uh, then DZ says, I tried to tell myself I was done boosting and cop date, but you boosted for three. Here's the thing. So we did hit on cop date for the green apples. I boosted on that because I really wanted the green apples really badly. And then we freaking hit. So I'm not going to tell you boosting's a waste. I think boosting's a waste if you don't really care for the sneaker. If you're kind of like, I don't really, you know, I don't really want them that bad. Then don't boost because it's an additional $5. Okay. So no, if you hit. Factor that into like how much you actually paid for the sneaker because you're boosting, you know, and then you have to pay another $5. I don't know if you know this. If you hit on the sneaker and you want to reserve it for a specific date, I believe they give you a specific time frame to be able to, to pick them up and you can reserve it or you have to pick it up, right? Or you have to pick it up, I think, you know, within a specific time frame. You can you can lengthen that time frame if you pay that additional $5, which I ended up doing. I hit, I paid the $5 for the boost and then I paid it ended. That's how, that's how they get you. They have, that's how they get you. They get you to pay $5 here and you know, you want to reserve your pair here and yeah, pay another $5. So it is what it is. Uh, again, like, so what? Well, I traveled all the way out to LA. So that's kind of like dip <laughs> adds to, adds to whatever I paid, but at least I could say I still, I, I paid, I, I didn't pay resale for it. I paid retail for it, but it's like, yeah, how much did I have to pay to go to LA to pick them up? But like, to me, it was well worth it. I will not change a thing for sure. Uh, Manny Martin says, I actually hit on two pairs so far. Travel, Skate Shop, and Premiere. Hey, let's freaking go. Shout out to Manny Martins. That's what's up. Hey, so what? Are you keeping both pairs? Like, hey, 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 what about me? What's going on? No, I'm just kidding. Um, no, um, what, what sizes did you get? I'm curious. And then what do you plan on doing with your pairs? Um, I can, some people are calling this the sneaker of the year as well. I, I, I don't know. This is going to be in the top five for sure. Okay. I just think this I think it's a little too early to call this sneaker of the year, but I, I'm already kind of getting the feel that it's definitely either in the top two. That's that's I mean, and I'm just based on based on everything we've seen this far. But it's also very it's too early in the year right now, guys. It's still only March, okay? It's still only March. Uh, Chucky says Ernest knows I'm not hitting. Hey, I never said that. Don't put words in my mouth. I didn't say that. Um, uh, uh, what, what is this? That's what they said when I said I wouldn't hit on the Reimagine Threes, real gaming, and then look what happened. Zero dubs. My God. Damn. Hey, man, you know, you just got to keep trying. You know what I mean? Like, there there, there, there could have been a chance that we could have, like, not have got uh, any, any Reimagine Three. I'm just going to be real. And I'm basing it on if we didn't get any raffle dubs in person, I'd just be SOL. Like, I, 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 I don't know what I would have done. I mean, yes, we hit on four. That's amazing. But if I didn't get any single call from, if I didn't put in the footwork is what I'm saying. And I just heavily relied on online. Online got eight and up, like boom, it's just gone. And then we, we tried three accounts, sneakers, L's across the board. So, hey, it is what it is, you know. This is why you want to be able to have, put as many entries as you freaking can so you have the highest chances, okay. I mean, look, if we didn't hit on four, I wouldn't be able to do this giveaway as well. So, again, shout out to Dark Metal for sure. Excited to send these 
off for sure. Um, it, it, like when you do receive it, my small ask, send me a photo of you either, uh, you know, send me a, send me a photo that you've received them. That's that, that's all I ask. So I can post it in my community page that you've received them. Um, both, uh, 10.5 personal sizes. I would rock one and stock one. That's what I would do. Um, but Hey, you could also like sell one for the resale, help you pay for that first, that you the, the personal pair. You could do that too. Sometimes we, we do that. Some people ask me like, why are you buying so many sneakers? I'm like, well, because if I'm able to buy, if I'm able to buy more and sell them and make some money, I can pay for my personal pair. You know, um, let's say if I did end up keeping all, f you know, four reimagines, I could probably have sold three of them and then have, you know, have used whatever I made to pay for the first pair. You know what I mean? That's, that's, that's the way to go. That's the way to go and build on your collection. Cause you guys know what we've, man, we've built this collection. If I, if I do a sneaker, like, uh, like if I do a sneaker collection video, like it's just crazy the amount of heat that we've got. And we've hit on like majority of them for retail, which is insane. It's insane, but it's a testament to let you guys know, I know what the hell I'm doing. Like, I know what I'm doing. Like we, we cop sneakers, we get them in the building. We shit, we share them on screen. It's not just this like hocus pocus, you know what I mean? Like this isn't like this isn't just like a smoke screen. This is like this is like zoom. Like we actually like they actually like you know they actually come here, and I'm super thankful. I'm very fortunate to be able to do this. I'm also very fortunate to be living in San Francisco, California. Shout out to Cali, uh, you know, and be able to have the opportunity to, to sign up at a bunch of these stores. Like like it, it's kind of like um it's a it's a hidden gem. The amount of stores I'm able to actually sign up at like that are all with, within proximity distance. Like I, I'm able to actually get a lot of entries within a short period of time. Like, trust me, like within a day, boom, we just, we just, we fire off and we just, we, like you see in my post, I'm like running, I'm running, <laughs> just putting that footwork. You guys know it. Uh, Manny Martin says, I'm so mad raffles for, for, uh, for Tuesday. I normally don't resell, but I do trade. Mm, okay. Uh, the trust, uh, then DC says that crust skate shop first come first serve was crazy. I could I could just imagine how tough these are going to be a cop. Yeah, no, a lot of people coming out for these. Like guys, hear hear me out. Um, I dropped my entry off at Atlas yesterday. The amount of entries I saw, it was a stack of papers like this 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 much, this much, okay, this this many papers, okay, and that was yesterday, okay. That was yet. Yeah, that was Friday. So there's still today and tomorrow. The the stacks of papers probably going to be even higher. It's probably going to be this much of like entries. Um, and while I was in the shop, I think there were people, there were five people that put their entries in while I was in the shop. So I was like, damn, wow, this is, these are, these, these are really like, these are hot. Okay. And like if, if crushed, if the crushed skate shop, uh, fiasco that like, didn't tell us enough that this is just going to be an insane release. Uh, trust me, I would recommend, highly recommend, uh, just being on point on Tuesday. We're going to be live on Tuesday, Tuesday morning. We're going to be live most likely 6, 6 30 a.m. PST. So feel free to swing by the channel if you guys want to support and want to see if we got some dubs. I'm going to be trying on all, all, all my three accounts, that's for sure. And we're just going to put in, you know, we're going to we're just going to try our best. That is all we can do at the end of, at the, end of the day. All right. So, um, so yeah. So with that being said, Best of luck to all you guys going for these. I believe more W's are going to roll out. More more W's are going to roll out on Monday, okay? Because like I'm expecting some calls or something. I'm crossing fingers for some calls on Monday. I will let you guys know if we did end up hitting. Um, that way, you know, we can review them on the channel. That's that's literally what what, what we do, what we do, all right? So um, you've been reselling. Uh, ah, there you go. Yeah, Christian 2K. Uh, yo, guys, everybody in the chat, feel free to also subscribe to Christian 2K. He literally kind of started up his channel and it's he's, he's you know, he's bringing it to the moon slowly but surely. So shout out to Christian 2K. I just want to be able to, you know, let, let, because he's, he's been asking, he's been asking me some, some advice around, uh, around live streaming. And we're, we're kind of like, we're learning as we go. Like when I started this, I didn't know what the hell I was doing to, to be real. So feel free to also sub to Christian 2K. Uh, he's putting out amazing shorts. And and, and 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 reviews. I I did see his last one. He did the uh, the uh, Gray Wolf Dunk review as well. So shout out to him. Feel free to subscribe to his channel as well. We're all here to support each other at the end of the day. Um, you know what I mean. And uh, and yeah, he's he apparently he's he's reselling to purchase a, a, a MacBook similar to the MacBook I'm I'm using over here uh, with the M1 chip. So definitely re re recommend that. It's just you know something that that's easy. It's portable. You know what I mean. Uh, 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 Pinches, my, my friend, uh, sneaker Jack hit on the LGB2, uh, LG, LGBTQ uh, raffle. Oh, lucky, lucky, lucky. Okay. On, on the, on the, on the, on the SBs. Nice. 
Uh, Real gaming it says just subscribe to your channel. Yeah, let's guys, let's help. Uh, let's help Christian. Yeah, let's. Uh, so Christian's um, YouTube channel just got dropped in the chat. Feel free to just go go ahead and give him a quick sub over there. Uh, we got Dan DZ as well. Yeah, hey again guys, we're we're all we're all here here to help each other out. And yeah, he's been putting out some. Yeah, he's been putting out some amazing shorts. And like I'm 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 uh I, I this guy's giving giving me a run for my money. I, I'm gonna have to really kind of get 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 to work on on these shorts as well. Um. Because shorts are, are wild. Like li literally, I dropped uh, I dropped a short two days ago of like me doing like an ollie, and that did like a, a thousand six hundred views. I was like, wow, that's insane. Like in just sh such a short period of time, within an hour, a hundred uh, one thousand three hundred people already saw it. Like one thousand three hundred people likes eyeballs on on the on the on the ollie, and it was an older video. And I'm not gonna lie, it was an older video, but still, it was like kind of like. I'm like, okay, I really gotta utilize. I really gotta like, I gotta figure this out. You know, I gotta really gotta. I really need a. Uh, have more of a schedule with shorts, you know what I mean? Like, like if I could drop a short a day, you know what I mean? Cause like right now, what we're going live, minimum of three times a week. So Friday, Saturday, Sunday, 7 p.m. PST, you guys know what we're live. But we also do go live if there's like a drop like this, as you're seeing, we're gonna be live without a doubt. I cannot, we cannot miss this. It's an opportunity for watch hours. It's an opportunity to rock with y'all. And you know, you know, um, um, you know, uh, s spread sp spread the love and spread the luck. You know what I mean? Because um, you know, I kind of wish these dropped uh, uh, like a few days ago, so that people could have at least, or you know, maybe like a week ago, so these people could have like worn this for like St. Patty's Day, because you got the green vibes and all that. It would have been so perfect. You know what I mean? But uh, but trust me, people are gonna be wearing this for St. Patty's next year. That's for sure. Um, yeah, we're all here to support each other. Hey, there you go, Snowbird Sneakers as well. Hey, yo, shout out to everybody in the building uh, supporting our guy, Christian Q.K. I mean, you know, honestly, a lot of it is just like, like, look, you're, you're not going to get people uh, to subscribe to your channel if you don't ask, you know what I mean? So uh, I'm, not, I'm not saying you ask, but I'm saying like, like for me, it's why I've added that uh, that talk track in, in like at the end of my lives. I'm like, hey, if you like this sort of content, consider subscribing to the channel, you know what I mean? Um... Uh, heel squad yo uh sub right back there you go snowbirds keep grinding hey you're uh, uh i know a lot of you guys also do do youtube and i have mad respect for anybody because like this is like if you got a full-time job and you're doing this on the side like it's a grind it's a, it's a grind but um like you know hats off to anybody who is doing this you know what i mean whether you're doing it because you love it um and i know a lot of you guys do love it don't get me wrong but if you're if you're if you're doing it for the wrong reasons and chasing the money you're not going to go far if you do it because you genuinely care about this stuff, I think you're gonna go far. That's literally how it typically works. Because it's like, if you're doing something and you're doing it for you know, just, just different reasons other than like the passion and the care and the love for it, it's gonna be hard to be motivated at a certain point in time. Um, give me a second, I got my, I got my, I got my cat over here. He's, he's, he just, <laughs> he's being a little mischievous. <laughs> That's Riley. Uh, uh, subscription done. Wow. Well, hey, man, there you go. What, what is that? Five subs already? Four subs? There you go, man. Um, yeah, you know, again, we're bringing this channel to freaking moon, baby. You guys know it. Uh, just a matter of time. Hey, Snowbird's at ni uh, 98 subs. Oh, okay. Sheesh. All right. Well, hey, that's 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 freaking that's freaking awesome let's get that guy let's get that guy to, to 100 please let's get that guy to 100 that'd be amazing if we could do that while well, everybody here on youtube has youtube channels yeah no it's it, this community is amazing and blows my mind okay and um i'm gonna i'm, I'm gonna re, I'm, I'm gonna review i'm gonna review everything in the in in, in the chat but we we are we are sub to, to christian too i'm gonna have to double check if i am uh sub sub to snowbirds as well but I, i'm gonna have to double check after and sub up for sure what goes around comes around you put you pour your heart and soul into something and trust me like the hard work always pays off sometimes it just it takes a while like you look at youtube okay we're not even getting paid. we haven't even got paid by youtube yet but the moment that happens then it's like it's like we put in an entire year year of work in a youtube and then it's like it's kind of like writing a book in a way it's like a lot of these book writers a lot of people don't know this or may not know this but um they work for about like three to four months on a book sometimes six months and then they release them. So they're not getting paid for that entire time. That's six months. And then they release the book and then they, they make they make a lot of money. They make a lot of money for, you know, after those six months. And all of a sudden it's like, it's like they were chipping at a wall. And then all these all these diamond, diamonds and gold came out for a second. You know what I mean? <laughs> for, for a while. That will ride them to write, write their next book or, you know, what or whatever it is. You know what I mean? Because it's like, it's like, it's, it's, it's not like the biweekly paycheck. It's, it's a different type of, of payment. They get a big check. You know, maybe like I'm talking, depending on the book writer, you know, they might make anywhere from maybe 
200,000 or 300,000, 500,000. And then boom, they can ride that to to write their next book and stuff like that, you know what I mean? And they operate on a completely different schedule than a lot of us that work, you know, work jobs and get paid every two weeks or waiting for the paycheck and stuff like that. So, you know what I mean? I, I the, the reason I'm saying this is, is YouTube is very similar in a very similar vein to people that write books or make music and do music deals and stuff like that because it's a creative endeavor, okay? Um, but I'm sure a lot of you guys did, you know, I'm sure some of you guys did know that. It's like, look, we spent a lot of money and a lot of time and a lot of effort into like really just building this channel. And I'm excited to see where this goes. I, I really am because I'm going to make some changes the moment we get monetized on how I operate here. We'll still be going live as consistently as we can, but I do want to put more edited content. I love doing edited content and I want to improve on that. I feel like it's, it's a skill that's just, you can use video editing for anything, anything, anywhere, anytime. Like you just, you just get better at it and you get faster at it as well, which is amazing. So shout out to everybody, uh, uh, Sneaker Jacks, did I win? <laughs> wait, 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 did you win what? Did you win what? Um, um, you just subbed to Snowbirds. Yeah, I'm gonna sub to Snowbirds as well shortly after. Um, but yeah, anybody else that is a YouTuber, feel free to like drop your YouTube channel. Uh, again, we're, we're, we're here to help help out as, as many people. Anyone going for the Air Max 186? So guys, we did actually hit on those. I don't know if I, 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 I don't think I let everybody in the, in the chat no but we did hit on the big bubble air maxes they're on the way but um i believe they're arriving much later but we will be reviewing that on the channel i'm double checking if i do happen to have that screenshot but uh but we did we did hit we did hit on them um not in our size uh we ended up hitting them in, in, actually uh uh meow meow size we hit it on a, on a men's size eight um yo real gaming got 5k hold on oh sheesh yeah that's what's up uh, hey, some people, you know, some people just, you know, been putting in the work over here. Uh, but, but yeah, we will be going for the Air Maxes in my size. Like, like, uh, like, we. The reason we went for the for the uh, the shock drop was we got to get the content as early as we can. Okay, it's just looking like it's gonna be it's gonna arrive or ship on the 29th, and isn't this release on the 28th? I believe it's on the 28th, which is kind of interesting for the for the for the for the big bubble Air Maxes. Is this it? Yeah. So what's interesting is yesterday I saw the price on this was $190 and then they changed it back to 150 because I only paid 150 bucks for this. So it's very interesting to me. I'm all, I was like, oh wow, it was like, it was, I literally saw it was 190 bucks. I was like, okay, interesting. Um, I was like, did, 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 I, did I just get lucky and pay 150 bucks? But no, they brought it back to 150 bucks. Um, what are your thoughts on the price tag on this? I think it's fair, 150 bucks. It's not like, it's not like it's going for, well, think about it, Air Max, uh, what do Air Maxes typically go for anyway? 130, 150? I think depending depending if it's like an exclusive or a special one, it might go for a little more. 170, 190. Um, you need 20 more subs for 1K. Damn. All right. Well, hey, let's uh, yeah, drop your uh, drop your YouTube in in the chat and let's let's help out. Again, you know, you guys, you like, you guys have to understand. It's like, like getting sometimes getting one sub is like, it's, it's a big deal. It's a big deal. Like, I don't think people realize it. Like, like, if, if I didn't start YouTube in 2008 and have already gained a thousand subscribers, I would only really be right now at about like 500, 550. It's hard to grow on YouTube. You need to really be different. You really need to put in a lot of effort and a lot of time. That's for sure. So shout out to everybody helping each other out. Uh, Den DC says, Snowbird, uh, you you like the movement. Uh, going to see them in August. Interesting. Um, uh, Real Gaming 94 sub. There you go. Wow. Everybody's just sub. I love this. I love this community. Now, you guys are awesome. Yeah, we're all. Okay. Yo, 102. There you go. Snowbird's at 102. Let's freaking go. Hey, slowly but surely, you're going to be up there. You're going to be at like, what, 200, 500? You're going you're, you're gonna to be up there. Trust me. So everybody, everybody, again, I appreciate all you guys. I am looking forward for, for this drop as well. So this is dropping on the 26th and saying my pair is going to be shipped or arrive on the 29th. So that's not necessarily an early review, but I'm hoping I get it sooner. I'm, ho I'm hoping I get it sooner, but regardless, we are going to be reviewing this on the channel and that's all that freaking matters sometimes, okay? Again, I know the Amal Maniers that, I'm, that I pretty much reviewed on the channel today did drop a while back, but we I wanted to wait for both pairs to come in so I could give you my honest opinion in hand. The difference is my overall thoughts, okay? So the black bear, giving it a solid 8 out of 10. And then the white bear, we're giving it a solid 9 out of 10. These are fire, okay? Super thankful to have them both. 
Now these weren't cheap. I mean, two hundred twenty-five dollars each pair. You know, that's pretty much close to, that's close to, you know, that's that's pretty much four four twenty. You know, close to five hundred dollars. You know, that's uh. Yeah, four fifty, five hundred dollars. It's 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 a lot of money. It's a lot of money for for this, but we're doing it for the content and for you all, so you can make that educated decision if it's worth getting. Okay, but guys, that's pretty much it for the stream today. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and play some music, and then I'm gonna go ahead and dip on out of here. Again, I want to give a massive, massive congratulations to Dark Metal for winning the reimagined threes in a size 11 that's a huge w and literally just for being in the chat and putting hashtag sneaker of the year so shout out to dark metal appreciate all you guys you guys run it up show that support smash that like button on the way out again we're just going to go ahead and play some music and then i'm going to go ahead and dip on out here but you guys know it feel free to again if you're not already following me over here if you happen to have any questions on anything whether it's live streaming whether it's sneaker talk whether it's yo-yos whether it's skateboarding anything anything that Anything that I do or have been doing for quite some time, feel free to go ahead and, and, and you know uh, reach out to me. I try to be as helpful as possible when it comes when it comes down to it. All right. But with that being said, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and dip on out. Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. It really does. This community is so amazing. I don't I don't know if you guys realize that that the sneaker community online is one of the best communities ever. It really is. Okay. So with that being said, uh, love you all. I'm gonna go ahead and peace on out. I'll see you all very very soon. Okay. We're going to be live. Uh, I'm going to do my best to be live tomorrow at about 7 p.m. PST. I'll let you know tomorrow if there's any changes to that. Um, but we're definitely going to be live for the, you know, the pine, the pine green fours without a doubt. All right, guys. So with that being said, peace.